I feel as though, you know, with you folks here, uh, I appreciate uh, uh, being with you. And uh, <clears throat> the things that uh, uh, I will share with you tonight uh, about the health message is uh, basically I, uh, I, I tell everybody I'm not too smart, but I copy pretty fast. And so through the years, I've accumulated a few things that people just don't know about, you know. For instance, people do not know how to cure appendicitis. I just saw these two on uh, uh, the internet and uh, they were saying, oh, so-and-so and she got appendicitis and had to be rushed to the hospital and operated on, you know. Well, we take care of, a, when I went to the Philippines, uh, it was culture shock for me. When I got there, it was just one thing after another, you know. <laughs> And I went into an Adventist hospital, and I saw people laying in bed, dying from appendicitis. I said, what is going on here? And they said, well, we can't operate on it. Why not? This person's dying. But he doesn't have any money. <laughs> oh, and at first I was shocked when they said that. You'd let a person die because he didn't have money. And then he said, we, we just can't do it. If we operated on one person, it, it didn't pay us. And, and we'd, have, we'd have to shut down because we wouldn't have enough money to, you know, to pay doctors to do all this. So then I thought, well, I know why I'm here now. Why was that? Because I know how to cure appendicitis in 20 minutes and cost nothing free. And anybody can do it. I can show you how to do it in 60 seconds and have told many people how to do it. Where is your appendix? Your it's right, on the lower, lower right, right side. side. It's about as big as your little finger, and it's on the, the lower part of your ascending colon. And it gets full of all kinds of poisons. One of the worst things you can put in your body is Spam. You know what Spam is, ham in a can? You eat that stuff, you'll fill your appendix up with it. I knew an Adventist that was a uh, working in the Second World War, and he was a uh, medic. And the doctors that they had, the surgeons they had, they, he was in charge of a uh, prisoner of war camp, Japanese. And he says every day we had numerous uh, uh, appendicitis operations. He says, and the doctor, the doctors at the front were being killed, so we lost our doctor, and I was left there with him. He says, what did I do? He says, I hated the dirty SOBs. He says, we just strapped them down and I cut them open and worked real fast. I cut that out and, 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 and he operated on them. And that, that's all they know how to do. And the medical doctors that we have today, that's all they know how to do. If, if they had appendicitis themselves, guess what would happen? They would go and get operated on. But you don't have to do that. So what I did, I went and I got uh, small bottles of water, froze them, and I would carry those into the hospital. And a person that could not afford it, I just take it over there and lay it on there. Now, when you lay that on the appendix, and you have to say, well, how do you find it? Just put it on the pain. <laughs> Wherever the pain is, that's where you put the bottle. And within uh, 20 minutes, that's all you leave it on there. And the reason for that is, here's your appendix. And it swells up, gets real big, and then when you put this cold on, what happens? Something gets cold. It shrinks. Mm -hmm. When it shrinks, it squeezes the poisons out mm -hmm. into the ascending colon. But if you're laying down or sitting up or standing up, you take the cold away, it'll go right back in again. So we put them on a slant board, put pillows on them, and so forth. Put their head here, their feet up here. Put put the uh, uh, water bottle under them so that when, when the poisons come out of the appendix into the colon, now gravity takes over and pulls it the rest of the way out. Mm -hmm. And uh, we only do it for 20 minutes, but we do it every day for a week. Why is it? Why don't we do it all at one time? Because you don't want all those poisons going out into your colon all at once, because you'll get sicker than a dog. Within one hour after you've done that, the pain will be gone. You can walk out of the hospital with them. Yes. Now that in itself, what's that worth? If I could get 
one thing in the Philippines, it would be how to do this. And, 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 and the, uh, the government, the insurance companies, somebody should get a hold of this. Now, why don't they do that? What does the Bible say about it? First of all, it says the whole world's deceived by sorcery. Sorcery is the mixing of drugs. You know, pharmacaos is the original word for sorcery. And uh, what is the root of all evil? Money. Mm -hmm. Love of money. You can't make any money with ice. <laughs> I knew the ice part, but I didn't know the other part. Yeah, you've got to put them on a slide.